Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we are going to the assemble Xiaomi 13. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool. We insert it into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. Then we need to heat the surface of the backcourt to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. This film can be a protective film from a new display or a film from a stationary store. We carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and gently run it lengthwise along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. We also need to be careful around the side buttons, as the cables may be located there. And we also need to be careful around the cameras, so as not to damage the lenses. And we can carefully open the back cover, so we can see we have nothing presented on the cover. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screws on the top part. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash triol. The screws on this model are really hard to remove, so we additionally use tweezers to remove the stuck screws. Carefully unscrew the screws, place them on a special surface in a certain order, just in case for reassembly. As we can see, the screws are actually stuck and we use tweezers to remove them. After that, we can detach the cover of the top part. We have the cover with a flashlight, contact pads, antenna tracks and of course the NFC. As we can notice under the cover, we have the flashlight cable the connector of which we need to disconnect. Then we move on to disconnecting the two battery connectors. On the connectors, by the way, it is indicated that connector 1 and connector 2 belong to the battery. After that, we move on to removing the screws at the bottom. For this, we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Philips hash the O. We carefully unscrew the screws. We also use tweezers to take out the stuck screws. Because the screws are not well magnetic and are extremely difficult to pull out. Next, we need to detach the cover with a speaker. Before we detach the cover, we need to release the coaxial cable that is located in the indentation of the core where the loudspeaker is located. We release the cable and carefully remove the core with the speaker. And we can detach the small antenna board. We find the right place where we can carefully hook lift and remove the small board. Then we turn the small board over, accordingly disconnect the coaxial cable connector, release the cable itself from the clip, securing it to the small board. And we can carefully remove the small antenna board. Ok, we remove the antenna board and we need to disconnect the interboard cable connector the fingerprint sensor connector, the coaxial cable connector, another interboard cable connector, the display connector. And now we can detach the subboard. The subboard we have is slightly recessed. As usual, we need to find the right place where we can hook and remove the subboard. The subboard is held in place by plastic clips or hooks so we find the right place, detach the board, 
Make sure nothing is in the way and carefully remove it. Ok, we have removed the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, the microphone under the shield and the card connector. And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor and fingerprint sensor. Then we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector and release the cable itself from the clips fixing it. Release the second coaxial cable. We can disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the connector of the second interboard cable. We can also detach the front camera. We carefully hold the camera so that it doesn't fly out and we don't damage anything. We can disconnect the connectors of the two rear cameras. We will remove the rear camera assembly later. Well, we can also detach the motherboard. We also find the right place where we can pry gently lift and remove the motherboard. One of the cameras, as it turns out, taped to the display frame. So detaching the motherboard wasn't exactly easy. So we remove the motherboard, turn it over, disconnect the rear camera connector from the inside and try to carefully remove the assembly of three rear cameras. Let's see from which side we can comfortably pry, lift and remove the camera assembly. We carefully, without hurrying, take out the camera assembly. Make sure there is nothing in the way, nothing obstructing us. Ok, we have removed the two rear cameras. One of the cameras is taped to the motherboard. So we have to carefully remove it. We gently pry it off by the base. We don't need to hook the cable so that we don't accidentally damage it and remove the rear camera. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally, for Xiaomi, we have brown tabs with the letters A and B, which we need to unfold. So, tab B, which is located in the middle, we need to unfold it so that it doesn't get in our way, and tab A which is white, goes all the way around the edges, we need to pull it up. So we carefully pull the white tab upwards and detach the battery. So we can notice under the battery there is an adhesive transparent coating protecting the interboard cables. Ok, this is the end of our deal assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.